guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Lizelle and today's video is in fact a makeup tutorial on this makeup look that I am currently wearing. I finally got to sit down and have a play with the Master Palette by Mario and can I just say, I don't know why I didn't use this sooner, like I was kind of keeping it to the side for a time where I could record myself using it for the first time and this was actually the first time that I used this and I came up with this look right here. It was all inspired by this shade, this is the shade Bronx and this thing is the whole reason why I decided to give in and buy this palette. I saw that olive shade and it was over, I knew I needed to have it. Also, do you guys like my new background? I kind of switched things up, I put my Christmas tree up and yes it is like the beginning of November but you guys I actually filmed this video ages ago so I know that we are currently at the end of November now it is a little bit late I'm sorry I really get into Christmas anywho with that being said if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look then just keep on watching First things first, as always, I'm starting off with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, using that as a base all over my lids up to the brows, and then I'm going to set that with a translucent powder. The first shadow I'm going to be taking from the Master Palette by Mario is this one called Isabel, and I'm going to be using this as my transitional crease color. So I'm wiping that back and forth through my crease, just going over it and building it up to the color and intensity I want it to be. Then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to add a little more depth with this shade called Violetta. And this is a really warm matte brown shade, so I feel like it's perfect to add a little more depth to the look. So I'm going in with a finer crease brush and just packing that in the very crease of my eyes. This part, you guys, is my favorite part. So I'm applying Bronx. It is this beautiful olive green shimmery eyeshadow. It's so smooth and buttery to apply. And I honestly love the color. Like, I love it. So as you can see, I'm just applying that all over my lid up to my crease. From inner corner to outer corner, no rhyme or reason, just packing it on. Never to be seen again. Throughout applying the eyeshadows, you might notice that I just randomly cover my eyes with a clean blending brush. That's basically just because I will see something and I just gotta blend it out. So once I'm happy with the way things are looking, I'm going to add a little color to the outer corner of my eyes. I'm going back in with that shade Violetta, but I'm really packing this on to really darken that area. Alright, I was gonna take this part out, but I'm leaving it in to show you guys what not to do. So, I am highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with the shade Hollywood, but it ends up being covered up by my concealer later on, so I wouldn't recommend doing that just yet. Anyways, moving on, I am just wiping off any fallout and cleaning up the edges. Then I'm going to move on to my face. I'm applying the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I think that's what it's called. I'm not 100% sure, but I really love this stuff. So I'm just applying that onto my face. And then I'm going in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and a Dampened Beauty Blender. And this one is in the shade Punjab which I think is a really strange name for a foundation. I don't know about you guys, but something about it I just think is really weird. Anyways, once that's all blended in, I'm going to move on to color correcting. This is, of course, the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Dark Peach. I'm not going too heavy with it, though, just kind of a light coating of it, if you will. And then I'm going to conceal. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in porcelain I believe this shade is and I'm just applying that in all the huge places that I would conceal and highlight so underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose above my brows and on my chin and then I'm going to spray a little extra fix plus on to my beauty blender and blend it all out <music> So once that's all blended, I'm going to do a little bit of baking with the Laura Mercier Loose 
setting powder that's what it's called <laughs> I always forget the names of the products that I use but yes that's what I'm using to do my baking so I'm applying that in all the areas that I applied the concealer letting it sit for a few minutes and then wiping it away with a brush And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in the shade Natural. Now it's time to carve out that round face of mine. So I'm taking the shade Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm basically just contouring my face with that underneath my jawline. Of course, I'm doing a little bit of contouring on my nose and definitely contouring my cheekbones. And then I'm going to do some bronzing with my number one fave. If you guys are long time watchers of my channel, then you know I'm obsessed with this. This is of course the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. I swear hands down like this is my favorite bronzer of all time so i'm basically just applying that all over my cheekbones and on my temples and my forehead and hairline just pretty much everywhere and then i'm going in with a blush this is the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour blush in exposed now i'm just gonna finish off my eyes by going in with the shade isabel and running that along my bottom lash line And then I'm going to be taking Violetta and running that along my lash line again just to really smoke it out and add that intensity that I'm looking for. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush and just blending away at that edge because I want it to be nice and smoky. And then this is the part where I should have done what I did earlier. I'm applying inner corner highlight. Again, this is Hollywood. So yes, kids. Don't apply your highlighter if you haven't done it, your concealer, that's for sure. Now I'm just applying my winged liner. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this liquid liner, you guys. I totally recommend if you're looking for a really great matte winged liner, then you have to try this out. Now, as you can see, I'm just curling my lashes because I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, basically just applying it to my bottom lash line. Oh, my bottom lash line. My bottom, my bottom lashes. That's what I'm trying to say. And then applying it to my top lashes. Once that's all done, I am applying some lashes. These are, of course, the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. And then I'm going in with highlighter. This is actually a current favorite of mine. This is the Laura Geller Highlighter in Gilded Honey. Ooh, I love it so much. I've been obsessed with it. So I'm basically just packing that onto the tops of my cheekbones running up to my temples above my brows <laughs> and then I'm going to of course put some on my cupid's bow and my nose then I'm going to line my lips this is the Rimmel lip liner in cappuccino this is like my go-to lip liner whenever I'm doing a new lip I always gravitate towards this lip liner and it's super inexpensive as well which is awesome and then I'm going to apply the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Truffle. This is one of my favorite shades out of all the matte liquid lipsticks Dose of Colors has. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of the undressed lip gloss in the very center of my lips. Blend that out with my finger and then touch up the corners of my mouth with the Truffle Liquid Lipstick. All that's left to do now is set on my makeup with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I just love how this feels on my skin, so I do go a little extra with it. And yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. Now Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. And if you want to see a full list of all the products I used throughout this video, you can find all of that information along with all of the links to my social media accounts in the description box. With that being said, I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you all in my next video. Take care.